Welcome into the latest edition of ESPN FC. I'm Dan Thomas, John by Ali Moreno, and a very sweaty Shaka Hissop <laughs> because we, we had to get you to turn off your fan because it was too loud, Shaq. Yeah, and now I'm roasting. Is that sweat all on so your shirt? Oh, we... that's sweat. Oh, wow. that's sweat. Hey, might get a bit of see through action if it gets any hotter. <laughs> hurry up, Dan. <laughs> Dying here. Oh, yes. Don't you have AC, Shaq? You're rich enough, surely. No. Oh, dear. We've had this discussion before, Dan. Hurry up. I know. I... Enough of this small talk. <laughs> Enough of this small talk. OK, let's get on with the big, important question. How did Ali celebrate his birthday? Oh, it was a great day, Dan. I had to tell you. Yeah. Started off with more morning golf, which was excellent. Well, you shot a uh, 78. A so you're very happy about that. I shot, yes, I shot a 78. And uh, yes, indeed, a personal best, 78. And matching my personal best. and. So that was a good start of the day. Then I came on the show because, well, that's what I yeah. do. And, and I got to see you yes. and Frank and Jules. And we talked to a little soccer, a little Barcelona, a little MLS. Yeah. Uh, after that, I had a beautiful meal with my family. My beautiful wife, Melissa, fixed this delicious meal that was capped off by a gorgeous, and I mean gorgeous, frozen passion fruit pie. Oh. And then after that, uh, the sort of the, the bookend of the day was watching some MLS is back and then on to sleep. But it was a beautiful, most delicious day. Look at Slater Shaka. OK, what did you make of Bruno's dive, Ali? What's that? What did you make of Bruno's dive? Oh, it was classy. I like it. I liked it quite a bit. Hey, even by my standards, I know I die when I see one. That was delicious. That was that was picture perfect. It's what we teach really in the yeah. academy. It, 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 when we do when we do the diving camps and the drawing foul camps, I, he was he had a lot of the points that we that we teach in our camps. Uh, not a penalty though, Ali. No. <laughs> no. All right. Well. <laughs> no. 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 You're right, Shaq. <laughs> It's a lot of heavy breathing. Yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. No, I'm good, I'm good. Um, Shaka, Kevin De Bruyne or Bruno Fernandes? Mm. Oh, man. Um, listen, I, I, if I were picking my team, I'd, I'd still pick Kevin De Bruyne over Bruno Fernandes. But Bruno Fernandes certainly has been better, uh, uh, at the very least, more influential since January. Really? Yeah. Mm. Ali, would it be that close for you? No, it's Kevin De Bruyne. That doesn't take away from Bruno Fernandes how important he has been to Manchester United, but if we're picking between the two of them, it's still Kevin De Bruyne, and I don't think uh, it's as close as Shaq is making it out to be. Yeah, I think he's dehydrated. Uh, <laughs> it's a nice long question. Well, and that's Kevin. what I said. I, I said Kevin De Bruyne, but if you're going on just what we've seen, I think Bruno Fernandes has had the better January to now, including the break. That's all I said. <laughs> Shaka, you're not even completing sentences anymore. Ali, what advice would you what? give to Setien regarding the situation of Luis Suarez? The guy is clearly not impressive throughout the 90 minutes, but he'll be there to score crucial goals when you need them. Well, the thing is that when Setien kind of looks behind him at the bench and as everybody is socially distant and just kind of looking at who's behind him sitting as uh, in terms of options and who's available there isn't really a better option than a 75 percent 70 percent Luis Suarez the other options to have breakweight out there not sure that he's going to give you a whole lot Perhaps you try Anton Griezmann and playing down the middle as a forward and, and it's something that I think both Valverde and Setien have, have tried and, and it really hasn't worked because then Griezmann just kind of starts wandering all over the field except staying central in a number nine position and people say, well, he just needs the freedom to move. He's the freedom to express himself on, on, on the field and he doesn't quite do that when he's a number nine. Okay, well, if he's not going to do that, then who else is going to play that position? And so... I think Kike Setien is, is just putting out there the player that I think gives him the best chance to score that important goal. It worked against Espanyol, but I don't I just don't know that long term Barcelona or Setien can be successful if Luis Suarez is not 100% fit. 
Shaka, does a team have more motivation if they're challenging for a Champions League spot or in a relegation battle? Champions League spot, because at least you're playing with confidence. When you're in a relegation battle, everything that goes against you, you your head's drop. You know, you, you're good while, while it's still nil-nil. But you can see the first goal or one decision goes against you and you, you feel that the whole world is, 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 is you know, counting, counting against you in, in that circumstance and, and you just lose all your, all your confidence. So that's an, that's an easy one. This is a two-parter, one for Shaka. I'll well, start with you, Shaq. Was there a memorable dive by an opponent when you made a challenge? When I made a challenge? Yes. Yes, the most memorable, um, uh, I, I can recall, West Ham against Chelsea at Upton Park, Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank in his usual manner. Um, he actually kicked me, went sprawling, referee gave a penalty, I got sent off. It was the most ridiculous dive against me that I can recall. Ali, since you're the master of the dive, any notable ones against the goalkeeper that fooled the ref? That was every Saturday. <laughs> okay. I mean, fooling the ref was... Have yes. the fun, I suppose. Saturday. Um, <laughs> that is Saturday. This is, this is going to help with, Sha <laughs> with Shaka's dehydration. What's the national cocktail and its ingredients for their respective home countries? Mm. Shaq, turn down to Vega. Is there a, a cocktail that you associate with that? <clears throat> just rum. Now we, we don't have a cock. We don't have a cocktail. We we're rum drinkers. Yeah. And you just give us rum however you like. Ali, Venezuela? Uh, I, I, well, I, I have to say, as you guys know very well, this is not exactly my lane. No. I, I, this is not one that I'm all that knowledgeable about, but I can tell you Polar beer in Venezuela is the way to go. Uh, for those that around me that were drinking, they seem to enjoy it quite, quite a bit. Straight up whiskey with water, that was, that was another one. And rum and coke, that's a classic one as well. There you go. Final question. Shaka, how many times have you yawned while goalkeeping? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, as many times as Ali's dived. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's about right. How would you have gotten with these 9 a.m. games in MLS, Shaka? Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Uh, not, not, not very well, Dan. No. Not very well. No. <laughs> it takes me, it takes a little time for my wheels to get tuning. Let's just. Let's just see that. Yes, they're rather sweaty Let's just leave wheels. It that. Rather sweaty wheels at the moment. Uh, that, that brings us to the end of well, uh, extra time. Shaka, put the fan on now. You're done. Put it on. <sighs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.